This is Business and Economy Network. Hello, viewers. Wherever you are, those of you in Abuja, Port Harcourt, Lagos, those of you in Enugu, Asaba, Imo, Oweri, wherever you are watching your program outside the shores of Nigeria, even via the YouTube channels, I want to say thank you so very much. This is Business and Economy Network on behalf of Production Crowd. I want to say thank you for allowing us into your homes. My name is still remain Peter Moche. If you think big, pray big, big things will happen to you. Well, on the line of our program today, we have so much people who have actually encouraged, very inspiring CEOs we have lined up for you today. Please don't touch the dial. Hear them out and hear what they have to say. And it's my prayer that you listen to them and hear what they have to say. And it will also help you in the course of your business and also your dealing. I'll be back after this time. Please don't touch the dial. I'm engineer Aaron Ogo Mwadeka. I've been privileged to work in many sectors of Nigerian economy. I started my life in then ECN, then NEPA, and I left to mobile producing Nigeria. As a matter of fact, I came to JKN from mobile producing Nigeria. And then it was James Kilpatrick Nigeria Limited. And it has been a fulfilling experience. Today, I'm the managing director of JKN Limited and also the president of, uh, the vice president of uh, FOSI, the Federation of Construction Industry in Nigeria. And by the grace of God, he places us in this industry, the toughest. Actually, JKN started working in Nigeria in 1962 and then just as electrical contractors. Then we became electrical and mechanical plumbing, electrical and plumbing, and then we added air conditioning. And over the years we've grown from that to add a few more services which makes us able to serve our customers because you find that when you are doing some work, you are associated this and that, and you want to do, be a one-stop service company that can take responsibility for what you've done. And it's been, that also been its uh, expansion, yes, we've expanded properly, and we also had issues like uh, 1986, some of our UK partners left, but uh, we thank God the Nigerian directors were equal to the task and were, were still up and taking, even though some of our contemporaries have uh, fallen by the roadside. But JKN has continued. As of this time, we do power engineering, uh, transmission substations, anything electrical. We do water distribution in towns and things. So we are, we are much more capable now than when we started. Yes, One word, quality service. The only thing that makes anybody get back to you is quality work and timely completion. If you don't have quality work, the man won't come back. You'll be having one, one point client. And once you do it once, he will not see you again. He'll not want you again. But we're lucky, we're fortunate that the clients want to see us. And once we get into a place, we are friends and we keep, we keep performing projects. I think I will put it to one word, quality. quality. It. It's not going to be easy to say yes. But it just depends on how people apply themselves. For example, it's very difficult to say you come out from the university and you're a good project manager. It's where you pick up your experience. Like I said, I worked in 
Nepal, mobile, and then in, in JKL. It prepares you more or less for it. But if people are not exposed, it doesn't matter how good their preparation is. They, they will not get there. But you need uh, construction. It's a tough industry. It's a rugged industry. So you need, you need to have been prepared to do it successfully. That's just it. So in Nigeria, yes, there are a lot of competent and proficient project managers that are Nigerians, that I know. And also more, I see continuously being trained. But the key word is exposure. Let's go Projects, Projects Limited. Limited. It is a construction, construction company with details, details of designs and build. build. Duly registered, registered in Nigeria, Nigeria about eight, eight years ago, ago with its head office in the Federal, Federal Capital Territory, Abuja. Abuja. Since, Since its inception, the firm has handled and completed a series of construction projects so far, and their areas, areas of concentration are the Federal Capital Territory, Plateau, and the United States, States respectively. Uh, my name is Ibrahim Tumba Yunusa. I'm from Adamawa State. I'm 37 years of age now. <clears throat> I completed my secondary school education in King's College, Lagos. I left there in 1993, after which I had a, took a BSc in Architecture from University of Jos. I immediately proceeded to Reading University in the United Kingdom for my master's degree in Construction Management. Uh, today, I'd like to say I'm a professional construction manager. By the grace. Okay. That is Gold Projects Limited is actually a construction build construction company <coughs> with a ethos of design and build. We registered the company in 2006, so we're about eight years old now, and have since uh, completed a series of projects. Our head office is in Abuja, and we are primarily. Uh, concentrated in project, we go after projects in uh, the Middle Belt region, I would say. Because you know in construction industry you look at uh, logistics, moving your equipment around, so you try and focus your company in areas where you, you are based. So we cover uh, the uh, FCT, Plateau States, Niger States, I mean uh, those are our primary areas of concentration. It is generally believed that non-compromising of quality helps this regard going concern on a high standard. Based on this, Lattice Gold Project Limited ensures that for every building, the best brand's logo must stand out in terms of quality, and this is achieved by paying attention to projects right from the design point through the construction to the finishing of the project. That one is simple. It's quality. You don't compromise your standards. Uh, we insist that any building we we'll put out that will bear our company logo must definitely, definitely stand out in terms of uh, quality. You also, of course, want to please your, time, uh, your clients by paying attention to the parameters of cost and time so that you leave your clients happy and satisfied. But I, I would say the unique, uniqueness is the quality of the finished product which you have to pay attention to right from the design point mm -hmm. to the construction to the finishing. So if you focus on that, uh, which I believe we have been able to do, then you get repeat business and you get satisfied clients. Uh, technology permits every sphere of our society and if you go to sleep for, for a couple of months and you're out of the game, you have to be awake 24-7. When I studied architecture, we were drawing with, on the, with the T-square on the drawing board. Everybody is literate with AutoCAD now. Same with the equipment that you use on site. So as a construction company, we try to stay abreast of the latest technologies available for our business. Uh, the days of uh, having to take a, a tape rule and physically measure are done. We have laser measurement measurers for that now. You have to have things like that. Speaking of technology, this is one of the new technologies that Ladis Gold has just uh, imported from the US. Uh, we are going to be building houses very soon with these panels. These are honeycomb panels. <clears throat> this is actually the wall of the building. This is the core. And then these boards, which provide, make the sandwich uh, completed. 
And, and this very soon, I'll tell you that we're bringing this product into the market and we're going to be building houses. And this will be cheaper, easier to maintain, faster to build, and then it will hopefully drive the cost of housing down. And uh, mark, mark it when it happens, you would have been the, one of the first people to see it here. So it's an expose I'm giving you. <laughs> so technology, uh, to answer your question, is part of our uh, company uh, motto, is to keep abreast with technology. As long as you're not ready to, to, to equip yourself and move with them, you might as well go out of business if you're not going to place. I'm, I'm very passionate about that. And uh, one of the managers of one of our, uh, of the shopping mall in, in Joss was recently awarded, I think the National Association of uh, Stud Students in Uni Joss gave him a, a, an award for being one of the best employers of labor uh, in the state. That's because of the number of uh, Uni Joss graduates that we're employing to work. Because after construction, what we do provide is facility management uh, services, which we engage a lot of uh, young people. <clears throat> I would say in Abuja here, we have at least 14 to 15 permanent staff. These are people that are paid from the projects that we are engaged in. So we do have, uh, we, we, we employ labor. We also participate in the student training program. So every year I get sent uh, a number of uh, students from various polytechnics and universities for training. And uh, uh, I think uh, it's only this year we've not had a, a copper here. I don't know why nobody came, but for the last three years we've had coppers here. So I, I do aim to give back to my community. In architecture, we're taught that even the feeling of looking at your building every day is part of what the environment has to live with. So if you go and put a very ugly thing up for people to be looking at every day or depressing them. But yes, that is true. Apart from the beautifying the environment, we really in this company want to go beyond that to make sure we're contributing our quota for national growth. And I think we're doing that. In Nigeria, in Nigeria and especially the building industry, industry, several challenges are faced by firms operating within the sector of which Ladis Gold Project Limited is one. The firm, the firm is posed with, with various challenges when executing projects. Every construction project is, is challenging. But I would say, I would single out when we built uh, now defunct Oceanic Bank branch in uh, Nasarawa State. That was very challenging because uh, the corporate body, you know, they, when they say 12 weeks, they mean 12 weeks. They're not a uh, government where you want to look for loopholes and so that project was very challenging because they, they kept to time, they insisted on quality. And the fact that we were able to deliver and please them, being very demanding clients, that was one of the most challenging projects I was engaged in and one of the most satisfying, actually. Uh, I also single the shopping mall in Jaws that bears the name of our company, Ladies Go Shopping Mall, located in Jaws City. Uh, the most... The, the, the most challenging part of it, <clears throat> if I can use that word, is that my own personal funds were tied in the project. You know, it's different when you are playing games with people's uh, finances. When you yourself are involved and you become a developer, then uh, you know that you can't give yourself excuses. And the project was done under duress, I would say, because uh, during the time when we started the, the, the building was when there was this kind of a crisis in Joss City. So managing that whole process and managing construction under those environments was, was very challenging. But I'm, I'm happy to say today the mall is standing and I have been told it is one of the most remarkable uh, buildings in Joss City. Yeah. Mayim Associates is a chartered consulting engineering firm operating in the civil and structural engineering world. The company was registered with the Corporate Affairs Commission in 1994 and later joined Council for the Regulation of Engineering in Nigeria, also known as CORIN, in 2007. The sole objective of Mayim Associates is to make use of its capabilities to further interests of clients when it comes to safety economic and other related issues that exist in the built industry. Mayhem Associate is a consortium of uh, a chartered consulting engineers who has wide and varied experiences in the provision of structural, uh, civil, constructional engineering services. 
and be construction, consultancy, project management. Uh, it was in, uh, registered with the Corporate Affairs Commission in 1994 and with the Council for the Regulation of Engineering in Nigeria, Korean, in the year 2007. Continue. So the main objective of the of Mayhem Associates is to utilize the, cap uh, the capabilities of the staff in incorporating it into the safety, economy, and uh, uh, stability throughout its design in the built industry. Uh, the concept of Mayhem Associate came to mind as far back as 1992. So by I waited till I'm fully uh, registered, satisfied, and uh, by current to practice. Before then, I was uh, practicing with uh, poly engineers in Kano, I think, uh, with engineer MCK Awa now in the U.S. consulting as a principal partner. When he left for the U.S., I joined uh, Leon Consultants with uh, the principal partners, uh, uh, engineer Luis Umuka of blessed memory. So since then, many associates have been uh, working stronger and stronger. M Associates' uniqueness as a consulting engineering entity in Nigeria is its ability to operate as a reliable consulting engineering firm operating in line with statutory requirements, rendering high standards of workmanship, planning, and organizing quality projects, which often guarantees continuity of business relationships with clients. I think it is the policy of many associates to operate as a liable and client oriented. Uh, 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 consulting engineers to deliver uh, in the delivery of uh, products and services in uh, accordance with the, the statutory requirements and in compliance with uh, the world based practices. So I think uh, what may I may think because I don't normally know because I know that first and foremost is God's grace that have met us to be where we are uh, today. But I want to tell us that the, our competitive uh, advantage over their competitors may be the ability, uh, ability of many associates to, uh, to plan, organize, and control projects through project quality plan developed by the firm uh, uh, with the intent to maintain high standard of workmanship and to uh, prevent non Conformances, because only in this uh, way the profitability and consequently the continuity of our business can be assured. My name is Architect Ibrahim Hamza. Um, I was born here in Kaduna. Kaduna State and I'm an indigenous of Kaduna State also. Um, I attended my primary education here in Kaduna, then proceeded to Bauchi for my secondary education. I did my tertiary education in Ahmadibola University, Zaria. I graduated in 2000, that's when I finished my master's. From there, I moved to the United Kingdom, where I furthered my education. I did a master's in project management. I have another master's also in construction management. Yeah, and I'm currently doing my PhD at the Amadou Bele University Zara in conjunction with the University of Loughborough in the United Kingdom. Yeah, I wouldn't say they don't, especially for the architects. The architects um, is part of our training. I mean, project management is part of our training. We are the leaders in the built industry, in the construction industry. 
So it, it, our work entails coordination. Now, part of the reason, even in the developed world, why you see that project management is, has, has become a subject on its own, or it has become an institute on its own, is because the architect has so much burden, so much burden relating with the technical team and now doing the other aspect of relating with the client. You know, the client is an entity. He is the master of everything. He has the money. He might even not be the user, the end user, but he has the money. He builds the project. He calls you and tells you. He gives you the brief in all. So you see, the idea of project management is, is simply defined as just simple coordination. Simple coordination. The actor has been saddled with too much responsibility because he's the head of the technical team. And you know, information dissemination, information coordination within the built industry is very, very vital and very, very important. So you cannot come back to your drawing board, be scrutinizing or trying to think of how to come up with a solution to a particular problem. The engineer tells you, no, this beam cannot go. It cannot work. He's going to distort it for you. So you see, you have to go back to your drawing table and say, okay, do I need to increase the size of this room so that his beam doesn't fall, or do I need to reduce it? Now, with these challenges, at the same time, a client will be calling you, what is the progress of my work? I need you to write a report. So you see, the challenges, the burden has become so much that you need somebody that will take that responsibility. That responsibility. Hence the idea of the project management. You coordinate, you pass information, you collect drawings from the architect, make sure it goes into this thing. And timing is very essential. Cost is also very vital and quality. These are the three coordinates or the, card the three cardinals of, of project management. You need to deliver your project in good time within a budget, which is cost, then quality. So once three, this three, these three cardinal points have been achieved, then you're expecting a success. In a Well, 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 viewers, this is where time will permit us. Anything that has a glorious beginning definitely must come to an end. I know you must have enjoyed yourself today. Well, on behalf of everyone in the house, I want to say thank you so very much. Tomorrow they say is another day. But have you learned something today? Have you heard what the experts have said? Please, why not just take out a few moments, some of those things they have said, put them into practice and see. Don't forget, success is predicated on focus, determination, and perseverance. I'll see you at the top. God bless you.